Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91 and I just wanted to talk about my customer experience with Elgato. Now, for those of you who don't know, back like in November, I got an Elgato 460S Plus. I actually got the capture card before getting the Xbox Series X. So when I finally got the Xbox Series X and I tried it out, at first it, it looked everything looked pretty good, right? But then I realized that the audio was not capturing. So eventually, I'm not going to bore you with all the details, but eventually I called customer support and eventually they gave me all these like troubleshoots to do and nothing really worked. So finally I was like, can I just send this back and you guys like fix it? And then he said, well, we can replace it, but he needed some information. So, so eventually I gave Elgato all the information they needed and someone sent me some bad news. Whoever this person was, he or she said, basically, I'm just going to paraphrase. They couldn't replace it because I had bought it from eBay. Yes, it seems that the warranty was still good, but because I bought it from eBay, I, they couldn't replace it. Like, apparently it had to be bought from like Amazon or Best Buy or one of those more official channels, I guess, than eBay. So that was bad, but apparently they were like, I couldn't even send it in to get fixed. So I, so I was like, I can't even send it to y'all, pay you, and then you guys fix it? And apparently, based on the email, I couldn't. And then customer service. Now, I'm pretty sure whoever sent me this was just trying to be nice. I'm not dissing the customer service. In fact, the people that I dealt with, they were very friendly and they seemed to know what they were doing. But because of that dumb rule by Elgato, I couldn't even seem to be able to send it in and then fix it, like pay them and send it in and have them fix it and send it back to me. Like, I don't understand that part of the rule at all. That I couldn't even send it back to get fixed. That doesn't make sense to me at all. Like, I could semi-understand them not being able to place it because they say, you know, I bought from eBay. But not being able to send it back to them and even, like, pay them money to fix it doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, imagine if you bought something from a friend. Like, let's say they bought it from, I don't know, let's just say Circuit, I know Circuit City is done, but let's just go way back, back to Circuit City days. Let's say they bought a TV from Circuit City and they sold it to you, like, a few months later. Then something went wrong with the TV. So you brought it to Circuit City. Now, if they said, well, sorry, since technically your friend bought this and you didn't, um, we're not going to replace it, right? But let's just say that Circuit City was able to fix, they had like a department that fixed TVs. For them to also say, sorry, no, we're not even going to fix it for you, even if you pay us, that doesn't make any sense. So that part just didn't make a lick of sense to me for Elgato to say, I can't even send it back to them for them to fix. Like... I'm assuming, based on what I remember the email saying, that like they won't even fix it if I send it back. So I'm assuming even if I paid them, they won't even fix it. And, and then like to top it all off, I'm sure this customer person was just trying to be nice. But, but he or she said that they could get me 15% off if I like bought another product from their like direct store online. And I know that the person was probably just trying to be nice, but that seemed like almost a slap in the face. Why? Because imagine this. Imagine, once again, that Circuit City, so they tell you, no, we're not going to replace it, no, we're not going to fix it for you, but please, here's 15% off, buy another TV here from us, please. Like, why? Why would I buy another product if you guys are telling me that, you guys are basically, like, Elgato is basically telling me, shove it, and then they're telling me, here's 15% off, buy another product. I mean, like, that rule has to go, in my opinion. Or at least allow people to send stuff to you to fix. Like, even if you say, well, you bought from eBay, so we're not going to replace it, at least allow people to send it to you, maybe pay you like, I don't know, 50 or or $100 even to fix it for them because another 4K capture card is pretty expensive. Like, I would rather send it to them, pay them 100 bucks, and then let them fix it for me than have to shell out at least around 200 or 150 Or if I wanted to buy from Elgato again, I think it's around 399 so that's what I'm trying to say. That rule sucks. I'm not dissing the customer people who help me, but that rule just sucks because like the, if the warranty's not up and I assume my warranty's not up because they didn't tell me my warranty was up, then you should, you should be able to still send in your product. I mean, I, I went through this before with Nintendo. When my Wii U gamepad broke, I sent it to them. I don't remember them asking me nothing about where I bought it from or anything like that. Now, I did have to pay them to fix it because they said the problem wasn't theirs. It was something that, like, I think someone in my household did. But still, 
still, that was much better experience than my Elgato experience because at least they were like, yeah, it wasn't our fault, but here, pay us this money and we'll fix it. Like if Elgato had said that, I probably wouldn't be making this video. So, just saying guys, if you buy any Elgato products from eBay, just know. In fact, I'd encourage you not to buy them from eBay. But just know, apparently if you buy it from eBay, they won't replace it if something goes wrong. And based on what I remember from the email, you can't even send it to them to fix. And Elgato, if, you're, if some of y'all people or employers are watching, please argue for that rule to be changed. This doesn't make any sense because you guys are basically telling customers who bought your product from eBay, you're screwed if something goes wrong with that thing. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.